Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Wamba, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be giving my honest opinions on a new Overwatch game, Overwatch 2, the Battle Pass. As we can see, they have added in the Battle Pass into Overwatch 2. My opinion on this is a great idea. It's bringing, it's going to make them more money. Examples as Fortnite and Apex. They have both made massive money of Battle Passes. And a great thing I like about them bringing in the Battle Pass is also making the game free. So more people will come into the community and play. As you can see in Overwatch now, there's a 5v5 multiplayer. Back in Overwatch 1, we used to have a 6v6. We used to have two tanks, two healers, and two DPS. Now, we have one tank, two healers, and two DPS. My honest opinion on the 5v5 is I quite like it. I like it a lot for the fact that you can make big plays when you need to. Example, if someone is in a 1v, a 2v3 situation, you're the two, they're the three. Example, if you have a, like a Zarya or a Reaper, and they have a Junkrat, Mercy, and let's say a Reinhardt, I guarantee you will have the chance to win that fight. For the fact that Zarya can use her bubble onto Reaper, and she can use her bubble on her. They can store the point, or whatever game mode you're playing, until the other team comes back. So, my honest opinion on the 5v5 is I quite really like it. Um, you have to be more like skillful now, uh, for the fact that the tank's health have been buffed. But I'll, I'll talk about that more in the other section about the new heroes and all that. But really, I like the idea of the 5v5. The new heroes. We have multiple new heroes in Overwatch 2 now. Which is great. I like it, but some are bad, some are good. And I'm going to explain. First one, Exuljin. Damn boy, he fit! Sorry if I'm saying her name wrong. She's basically just... Soldier 76, but with Apex sliding mechanics and a ray gun. So, she's great, but her range on her gun, I've noticed while playing comp, is shorter than Soldier's. So, if you're going to play comp and you've got to take out Barra, my honest opinion is you should go with the Soldier more. But the fact with the long range gun, he can heal himself, he can sprint. Now, you can say soldier can slide. Well, no fucking shit. Yeah, she can. But if you're gonna push, let's say, the payload, you're not gonna slide on your own on that. I feel like Soldier 76 is better than Soldier. So I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna do a rating system here and I'll probably give Soldier a 6.5 out of 10. Not the greatest character, she can be good in good some situations, but really, that's my own honest opinion on Soldier. Junker Queen. Now, Junker Queen, I've noticed, gets a lot of hate in comp, and the whole Overwatch community. Now, my honest opinions on her is, she's alright. She's not the best, but she's not the worst. Why I say this is because, really, if you're gonna, like, play a tank, you, you're better off picking Reinhardt, Orisa, or maybe even D.Va or Sigma. So, I don't really, like, she's alright, but to be honest, her abilities, I haven't played her yet, but from what I've seen versing her, she doesn't really seem that great with her abilities. She kind of seems, like, boring. And I was speaking to one of my mates, Pyro, and he was saying she has the lowest health in the tank, I think he said. And to be honest, if you're going to play a tank, why, why pick the lowest health? The point of a tank is to push up, and especially when there's only one tank now, you want a good tank. So for um, Junker Queen, I'll have to give her a 4.5 out of 10. Kiriko. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. She's the new healer in Overwatch 2. 
Now, I've noticed a lot of people have played her. I've played her once or twice in quick play. The thing is, she's basically Genji, but as a healer. So, she doesn't really, in my opinion, she doesn't do much. She has like these cards that she throws to heal. And that's really her, really. That's what I've noticed. She doesn't really do much. She can more climb, but anyone can do that now, really. Um, but the one thing I really do like about her is her ult. Her ult is probably the best part about her. Her ult, she like throws it in a direction and you do extra speed, which I quite enjoy. So when you have a reaper, he's just like shooting his guns like 10 times faster. So, um, I'll have to give her a, a 5 out of 10. That's my honest opinion. The new game mode, Push. Push is a game mode where there's a robot in the middle, and you push it to one side, and then the other team tries to push him to the other side. It's like a two-side payload. My honest opinion is that it is shit. I hate it. It sucks, in my opinion. I do not like it at all. Why would you add a two-side payload? The thing that annoys me the most is that they removed two-point capture. Two-point capture was my favorite. Used to go to one, basically one side, capture that, and then go to the next and capture that, and then you would win. This new push, it seems like a cool idea, and it just came out crap. So, really, I don't enjoy this. Um, yeah, that's really my thoughts on push. I don't have to say too much about it. it I don't like it. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching the video. Just remember to like and subscribe. And go check out my socials down below. And make sure to join that Discord to know when I go live. In the spot. 30 on me and some chops. All my niggas really rock. Roll. Control. Shamaleos. You know how my niggas move.